Beautiful specimen. You can see the colors are, I would consider this more like a reddish orange coloration. Here's another one still that Ray has. A, it's shedding a little bit, but the siblings are from the same batch. My female produced this with a friend's, with a friend's male up in Massachusetts. And well, we finally got some luck out of them. Ended up having eight babies and no, you know, six of them and we split the clutch, three and three each. And now I have something to start with to breed in a couple of years and try and produce more. What's so the market I, price on these right now? I don't even know. I figure I anywhere between fifteen and two thousand, fifteen hundred to two thousand. People have been offering more, but I can't sell them yet. Now, this I roam up to make more. This is no blood, hardly any bloodlines in this country that are able to reproduce. Butter genetic stripes and such as that that are really turning the genetic stripe back into popularity when they've sort of slipped recently. We also have some yellow belly champagnes that we produced this year that are doing very, very well. Some butter cinnamons that uh, also are doing well. Um, they're just uh, phenomenal looking. They uh, take the best characteristics of the cinnamon and just really make it, uh, uh, smudge it up a bit and make it a really fine looking snake.